Hello boys and girls, we are beginning a new section in reading this week. Remember, we had this big idea that was going all through the last couple weeks and this week. And our big idea we've been talking about is what kinds of things can you find growing in nature. So this week, we're going to expand on that a little bit. And our essential question for this week is, what kind of things grow on a farm? Wow, that's an exciting question to talk about, isn't it? Look at the picture on this page. What is the child holding in their hands? He or she is holding carrots. It looks like a little girl is holding carrots in her hands. Do you find carrots growing on a farm? Yes. And these plants right here, these look like broccoli. Now I know some of you might not like broccoli, but it's a pretty good vegetable. Back here in the background, it's kind of fuzzy, so we don't know what types of vegetables those are. But they could be all different kinds. Think about a time that you've been on a farm or that you've had a garden. Because a garden can be similar to a farm, except it's much smaller. What kinds of delicious foods do you guys grow? You might grow onions. Maybe lettuce, green beans, tomatoes, peppers. And if you don't grow that, maybe someone you know, a neighbor, a friend, a cousin, an aunt, uncle, a grandmother, grandfather. Someone you know has some kind of little garden where they grow things. Okay, let's go on to the next section, and we're going to watch a little video about our essential question. Fresh from the farm. What kinds of things grow on a farm? Some of your favorite foods might grow on a farm. Fruits like these strawberries grow on farms. Green beans and other vegetables grow on farms, too. What happens to fruits and vegetables when they are ripe? Some, like these tomatoes, might be sold to a grocery store. Do you see the tomatoes now? They came fresh from the farm. All of these fruits and vegetables grew on farms. Okay, so a lot of the fruits and vegetables that you get in a grocery store, where are they usually growing at? They are growing somewhere on a farm. Maybe not close. Maybe they had to be brought in by a big truck or something. But they grew somewhere on a farm. I'm going to have cauliflower tonight for supper. That cauliflower was growing somewhere on the farm, and it's not the season here. It's too cold here to be growing that. So someone had to bring that in in a big truck and put it in the grocery store. That way I could buy it and I could fix it for my family tonight. Now, we have a song to sing about some foods that are growing on farms. To begin with, I want you to put your listening ears on, and I want you to just listen to the song.
Okay, so what types of things does it talk about on here or is that a formal micro? A formal micro oats or peas or beans or barley. Listen to this song one more time because the next time we're going to sing it. Ready? <laughs> Okay, this time we are going to sing the song. Now we're going to go on and we're going to look at some other things here. Fresh from the farm. Let's look and listen to these. A pumpkin is a type of vegetable that grows on farms. Some pumpkins grow to be very large. Look at those pumpkins. Have you ever seen pumpkins when someone has had them in their garden growing? These have grown very large. Look at this big one right here in front. Can you imagine trying to lift that thing? It's giant. I'll bet it's really heavy. But look at the green vines that it's growing on. And the vines are planted in soil so the plants can get the nutrients and stuff that we talked about last week. Let's look at another example. Corn is a type of grain that grows on farms. People and animals eat corn. Do you know anyone who grows corn on their farm or in their garden? I like to eat corn on the cob. Do you? When I was younger, my parents had to cut it off for me because it was hard for me to eat. But I still like the taste of it. Red bell peppers grow on farms. They taste sweet and crunchy. Mmm. Red bell peppers or green ones or yellow ones or orange ones. They all taste yummy. But when I'm making my eggs with peppers or using peppers in salads, the red ones are my favorite ones of all to eat. Thank you for doing this video with me, boys and girls. Make sure you go to the next one and have a great day.